Hello guys, this is your reading for the 15th through the 30th. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, guys. This is a love reading. We're going to see what is going on for you guys for the remainder of the month. <clears throat> In love, what energy is around my Aquarius friends? The Emperor could be an Aries person that you feel is very controlling, um, very stubborn, somebody that does not take action. Um, maybe this is a person that you feel like, you know, they're not really doing what you feel like they should be doing because they feel like they're right. You know, this person, I, I'm feeling like this person feels like they're right. Okay. Also, I feel that you got some of you guys may just be feeling yourselves and in control of your shit because the emperor is the king of kings. So a lot of you guys are just on your own shit this month. All right. Doing the damn thing. Let's see what's crossing you guys here. King of swords. Hmm. Some of you have a very controlling parent, okay? This is a masculine energy. Could be a mother or a father, though. But um, I feel there is um, somebody that you feel like is trying to kill your vibe, basically. Hmm. Or either if this is a love relationship, an intimate relationship, then you feel like, you know, this person is is basically trying to make you believe something that you know better than to believe basically you have your own mind you run your own shit and this person regardless of how they come across they cannot change what you're doing and how you do it okay could be a same-sex relationship going on here as well or either you two are just very, very strong. Okay. I feel um, it could also be a Taurus here. Taurus, uh, Gemini. Hmm. I'm feeling like you guys, you know, you, you're wanting to tell somebody a piece of your mind. I'm just getting that somebody is really... Um, you feel sitting on their high horse and you really just want to give them a piece of your mind but I feel like this person is in a position of authority where you feel like you can't just let loose but inside you're feeling like the king of swords like I really want to let them have it let's see what the underlying issue is here let's see these cards that fell out huh we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, making the Ten of Pentacles. So, this is all about wanting more. Um, wanting somebody to offer more. I feel like you guys are involved with somebody that may be kind of domineering and may also make you feel like what they're giving you is enough don't ask for more and you know you're having a hard time getting your point across and really making this person listen to what you need and, and how you feel okay Virgo energy here <clears throat> having a hard time making them listen or getting them to see you is what I'm getting here let's see in a recent past what was going on in a recent past some nine of cups hmm. I feel like this person initially you felt like was your wish when you encountered them it's what you wanted it's what you thought you wanted um, I feel like they came across um, really emotional, really em emotionally available when you encountered them, but 
there's something very controlling, um, almost emotionally manipulative about this person that you guys are feeling right now. Maybe they were more open with their emotions or right now you just feel like this is a non-feeling asshole, you know. Hmm. Let's see. And you were happy before you met this person, I do think. You know, I strongly feel that you guys were happy. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then when this person came along, it was almost like, okay, so, you know, they, I can be happy with them as well. But now it's like, you guys are kind of rethinking things here. Um, I don't think you're thinking about leaving this person. I think you're feeling like you, you're basically in a relationship by yourself. In other words, you still feel single. Okay. Let's see what this is that fell on top of this nine of pentacles. You guys feel like this is your soulmate. That's how you felt when you met them. It was, it was probably like an instant attraction to this person. Okay. Something very, very profound that you felt when you met this person. I think you were kind of content with being single. And then you met them. And look at that under the bottom of the deck. The chariot. Cancer energy. You felt right at home with this person. You felt like this could be your person. And now it's like <laughs> you kind of still feel single. You know. Um, you're, you're waiting for them to make that offer to take this to the next level is what I'm getting. Let's see what your crowning thoughts are here. The Four of Swords. Hmm. Almost like I'm just over it. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. I'm just over it. I just want to... I, I, I'm not getting be done, but I don't think that you guys are willing to fight with this person. It's like, it is what it is, is what I'm getting from um, you guys here. It is what it is. Okay? If they don't want it, oh well, so be it. Let's see what's coming in for you guys. But you're thinking, though. This is the thing. I am getting that you're kind of weighing things. Like, are you expecting too much too soon? Um... You're not trying to jump the gun. You're not trying to cause any conflict. It's like you're really weighing your thoughts to see if what you think, what you're thinking, um, you know, should you be really thinking that? Or are you kind of exaggerating the situation currently? Okay. What's coming in for you is the King of Wands. I feel like this guy, this is you guys. Um, if this is not you standing in your power, this is this person coming in to give you what it is that you want. I see you doing, I see both things happening though. I see you standing your ground. I see you not groveling here. And I see this person kind of taking notice of the fact that you guys are not saying much. Okay? And I see them stepping up to the plate. I see them coming out of this mode where, you know, they, they're on their high horse and feel like, okay, what they've done so far is good enough. And I see them actually taking action. I see them taking action. I see them showing you exactly how much they want you. How much they want to be with you. How much they're attracted to you. And what they have to offer you. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> How you're viewing this situation currently eight of cups yeah thinking about walking away emotionally this is what this is like you know what you don't deserve you don't deserve my affection and that's what you're thinking about here with this four of swords it's like am i jumping the gun i know how i'm feeling and i'm about sick of it this is you you're like emotionally full right now. It's like you can't take much more. Thinking about walking away. What is the influence for Aquarius? Ace of Cups. 
Mm -hmm. You want this person to offer you something very loving and grounded here. This is what you want. You want something real. You want to be happy because here we are again with the Eight of Cups and the Ace of Cups with the Nine of Cups. You want to be happy and you're thinking about being single again because you already kind of feel that way and starting over because you love yourself enough not to settle. And I'm thinking this person, they're seeing that. They're seeing that. They're seeing you kind of pull back a little bit, okay? <clears throat> so they know what they have to do. Trust. Hopes or fears for Aquarius. Six of Pentacles, you want reciprocity. You don't want to feel like you're groveling for this person's attention, their affection, their time. Okay. You don't want to feel like somebody can come in and just like take your place so very easily. You want to feel secure in your relationship. This is what you want. An equal exchange of energy. No more, no less. Okay. What's the overall outcome for my Aquarius? Okay, cards are jumping out for you guys. Uh, when I picked it up, it came in reverse. Nine of Swords in reverse. You know what? Not overthinking. Kind of thinking um, in logical terms. You know, you're not thinking the worst. You're thinking logically. And I feel like if this person comes correct, which I feel like they will, all will be well. All will be well. Okay? So I do see that this person knows exactly. They see a change in you. They know exactly what it is that they need to do. And they know they need to step up to the plate and show you something different than what they've been showing you. Okay, guys? So we have Libra, Gemini, Taurus, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energies here, Aries. I feel Leo, maybe Sagittarius is here. Okay, I think Virgo possibly. Virgo possibly is here as well. All right, guys. So that is what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.